and welcome to the 29th Sunday the 29th of March so I have stripped the bed don't normally on a Sunday but I did it last week so I decided to do it this week let me lower this TV down the news it's all starting again so yeah I've got the bedding out I've got another lot of washing ready to go in. Rico is coming on a treat with the jigsaw. Here we go. Day six so far. Addicted aren't you Rico? I'm addicted. There is, there is piece, there's one piece definitely, this piece is missing. For It's a hundred percent. It's looking good anyway. Well it has to look good eventually. <laughs> <laughs> That's the update on the jigsaw. It's a no makeup day today. Let's do a little Morrison's haul, shall we? So as you know now, we only go out for necessities. So Rico went out, don't touch your face. Rico went out yesterday for some bits and pieces that we needed. So what we tend to do, or what I want to do is, when Rico comes in with the shopping, he just sets the bags in the garage, unless it's something that needs to be frozen or it's something that we're needing now so we'll sit the, the bags in the ga garage leave them in the garage overnight we don't touch them and then i bring them in the next day and basically bleach everything <laughs> bleach the packaging just wipe all the packaging down with bleach let's see what we have so i have wiped all of these down now they've all been wiped so we have kettle lightly sorted crisps some pure peppermint tea and I have one on the go just here some artichoke hearts uh, some corn on the cob we normally get fresh corn on the cob we don't normally get these these cooked Rico yeah, I thought that's all we had. right okay we'll just pick them up we just have to get what you can get now some bananas some aubergines and courgettes which we use because I'm still sticking to my vegetarian diet just now don't know how long that's gonna last but anyway so Rico makes lasagna and things out of these things uh, some orzo which is a type of pasta we have some noodles we have some pasta here some wraps so we can just fry up some aubergine and courgette and things as well and just put them in the wraps as well some crumpets which the options are endless some pita bread he also picked up some, I'll just show you which I've put in the fridge. So these have already been wiped and I put them in the fridge yesterday when he bought them. So some hummus and some taramo salad have already dug into the taramo salada. Got some crab meat as well. And some uh, lobster tails. Probably have them for dinner today. So we have some tinned sardines and mackerel some tissues, some washing up liquid, they only had small bottles, Rico's shampoo, wash and go, the obligatory wine, you're only allowed four bottles of wine, so he got his maximum allowance, so got some pecorino and some diet Indian tonic for our gin. So that's it, it's a lovely sunny day again today, but it is windy and chilly, so it's perfect for drying the washing. So um, I'm gonna finish my tea and um, get all my things. Hello and welcome to the 2nd of April. I normally always make a point of vlogging on the 1st, but I kind of got busy yesterday and didn't pick up the camera. So yesterday on the 1st of April, I basically got up and I kind of felt I was going to go that way, you know, that anxiety way. So I jumped out of bed, got my gym gear on, grabbed hold of Lily and just went for a jog and it just kind of made my day for the whole whole day so did that I filmed as well yesterday which meant I got makeup and I wish I did turn the camera on because I actually had my contact lenses in and uh, made an effort yesterday which we don't have to do I keep saying that I feel sometimes you know we have this pressure of you know well we should make an effort because it's going to make us feel better like I've said time and time again sometimes you just don't want to and um, I find that with my exercise as well 
I need to change up my exercise every day. So yesterday I did the jog and I thoroughly enjoyed it and then came home and did weights and things. Today I kind of got up and I was like, what am I gonna do, what workout? And then I just looked at my Instagram and I saw Kat L was doing a live and her workouts, I think she's actually a Les Mills trainer as well. I think she has done her course with Les Mills. I'm pretty sure she has. So her workout was like a hip workout and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that this morning. Wasn't planned, it was on my Instagram. She was just about to start. So quickly got my gym gear on and I did that for a workout today and I've basically been changing it up every day. Mondays and Tuesdays I haven't really been doing proper workouts because I concentrate on kind of dusting and cleaning the house on a Monday and Tuesday and then whatever else, a bit of colouring in or uh, word search or whatever. Even read some of my book last night as well. So yeah, today plan is, so I've done my workout today, I'm going to edit the empties video that I filmed yesterday. Right now I'm going to go and get something to eat because I still haven't had anything to eat and it's about lunchtime so I've basically just tidy up. I'll zoom round the house with the hoover as well. So I'm still fasting, so I'm still on my kind of uh, vegan or vegetarian type diet. Cheers Rico because then cheers this Coca-Cola. He's still doing the jigsaw. So um, yeah, basically I've just been having crumpets with avocado and then I just had my dinner. So I don't, haven't really been eating the morning. Let's have a look at the jigsaw. Here we are, that's it so far. Getting there, but not there yet. I've no avocados left now, so I think I've got one crumpet which I'm going to smother with peanut butter. Just put the washing out and it is oh, freezing! Oh no! This dressing gown's fallen. Oh, it's a cold one. Right, right, that leaves the fridge and then I'm going to go and edit. Do you know, do you know what's really sad? On Mother's Day. Hi Lily, it's cold out there, isn't it? Mother's Day, George and Ruth came over to drop off uh, my flowers, my champagne, and what have you, for my Mother's Day, and they were just dropping them off at the at the front door, and I was talking to them from the window, and that was the first time Georgie was coming to the house, and she wasn't allowed into the house because of everything that's going on. And she was banging at the door screaming, I want in, I want in. And of course, we couldn't let her in and she couldn't understand it. And what's really, really sad is the other day George went for a walk with Georgie. And they walked past the house and again I opened up the window to chat to her. And she was quite content not to come in. She didn't ask to come in. She just sat in the car. And for her now, it's normal. I talked to her from a window. That's become her normal now. You know, what a difference within a couple of weeks where she's screaming and not understanding why she can't come into the house and then to walk past my house and think it normal to talk to me from the window. That's quite sad. Anyway, let's go get this fridge cleaned. I am frozen from putting that washing out. Oh, cold, cold wind. The weather is so changeable on a daily basis. I'm going to put a pair of thick socks on because I prefer to wear socks rather than slippers and it's too cold on the tiles now for bare feet. The other thing I've been doing to pass my time is colouring in. You can the background there doing this joke. So I have to have the window in front of me because if it's behind me, then the camera goes dark. So first of all, what I did was I saw on B Rachel's post where she was on somebody's Instagram and you could kind of download pictures. I'll link it below who it is. And you can just colour them in. So then I just went onto Amazon and ordered myself a colouring book. 
some fill tip pens if I can again I'll link them all below I just ordered them from Amazon so that kind of it's nice something that relaxes you just to sit you know I've got the TV going and I just color away and it just chill just chill right let's go get this fridge done my routine used to be to do the fridge every Monday but I did it last week and I can't remember what day I've kind of just routine's gone to the wayside for me just now but I know I did it last week but I can't remember which day so I'm just gonna do it just now and that's it done and I'll mark in my calendar I'll mark on my calendar fridge cleaned on Thursday Help save lives, stay okay everything's tidied who but now it's time to call Lily and she knows and she's hiding Lily right come on come and get groomed come and get combed come on you're gonna get combed and we're going to make you all beautiful. You'd be all right. Come on, let's go do this. My beautiful girl. Okay, it's time to go out and clap again. just done a get ready with me I've just dyed my hair we've also just received our letter from the government saying that we've not to go out basically isn't it Prime Minister right. <laughs> a personal letter from the Prime Minister yeah. saying we've not to go out it's an update anyway we are here to do an isolation shopping haul or a lockdown shopping haul whatever you like to call it so I have just brought the stuff in from the garage been in the garage for 24 hours i have bleached everything that is in packaging anything that's not in packaging is in soapy water and i'm going to wash it down so basically in there i've got baked potatoes which we're actually going to cook today and my avocados so i'm going to wash them down and i'll probably just leave the potatoes there because we're going to use them veg all these things that are in bags i just bleached down the bag so basically i have a mixture here of bleach and water and my cloth and i just spray everything down individually and wipe it down so we have some peppers here you'll not see any meats here because i am still fasting so i'm on a vegetarian diet basically i'm not eating anything that comes from an animal or at least i shouldn't be so i'm still sticking to that so that's why you're not going to see any meats here so we have some peppers here for salad we could also stuff these bigger ones some little gem lettuce for salad some tomatoes coriander hummus with pesto some soya milk some tonics bottle of gin peanut butter pringles mushrooms some vegetarian sweet potato sausages that'll be salmon for rico because i can't have salmon nothing that's red blooded crab meat i can have so basically red blooded not red blooded something like that anyway blue -blooded. some blue blooded okay whatever some dana salada, some green lentils we'll cook them with rice as a dinner olive oil soya sauce bread i haven't actually baked any bread yet but i plan to bake some bread did you get porridge yeah it's not in there no it must be in there no i've got porridge there's no porridge here okay i was looking for the porridge there but anyway some bread some crumpets some scottish tatty scones pita bread and some treats for lily you never got dog food for lily either yeah, i did oh i must have left the bag in the garage then okay right. some treats for lily three bags of treats Rico even bought me a magazine and i didn't even ask for it so it's a nice wee reading here 
with Vogue. I've even wiped down the magazine, so there should be another bag coming in, which I missed in the garage. So there's the other bag full just there. So I'm gonna put all of these away first and then we'll get into what's in that bag there. I have treats for you, Lily, and I'm gonna give you a treat right now. Yes? Daddy's still got them, man. Daddy's. Here we go. Ah, ah, sit. Good girl. <coughs> So here's the rest. We have cornflakes, we have porridge oats and I'm going to make some fruit bars with them as well. Some kettle crisps, more kettle crisps, more crisps, some tortillas and some vegetarian chocolate and vanilla cheesecakes. I've had these before, they're lovely. Cucumber, celery, some extra mature cheddar cheese frico, some chappy filili, some toilet paper, and that is our haul. We never put anything away, did we? Did we use anything yesterday? No, just the wine. Okay. That's our Morrison's shopping haul for uh, this week. Now I'm going to wash all these down and put them away. That's my avocados washed and the potatoes, so I'll put them away and we're going to cook them today. Georgie, say hi! <laughs> Where did you go? Wow! Come here and see her. Where's George gone? Georgie. Georgie and her mummy have been making bracelets to pass their time so they've dropped mine off just now put it in the letter box there it's there right there here we go cheers <laughs>